Okay, let's take a look at the editing interface in Data Hub Web View. On this side of the screen, we have our canvas, which is where we build our web pages. Along the bottom, we have a set of control icons, which quickly allow us to place controls on the screen. On the left, we have our properties panel. Initially, this is showing us the properties for the page background, or the page itself, dimensions, background color, and background image. If I come down to the controls icon and just simply click on one of the controls, you'll see that it places the control in the center of the screen. And with the control highlighted, we actually get to see the properties for the highlighted control. There we go. Now we can also see controls from the control tab. This is a list of controls with a description for each one. We can add a control by clicking on the plus sign and that will put the control again in the center of the page. Or one of the other ways we can add a control is to right click and choose to manually place the control. When we do this and drag our mouse back across the page, then we can position the control with one click. In the Pages tab, we obviously have a list of the pages that are stored in the system. We can open a page by double clicking on the page name or by clicking on the green arrow. This screen simply tells us that we haven't saved any of the changes we made in our initial screen, but I'm going to go ahead and OK that. And here's our demo page 2 up and running. And obviously we can click and edit elements within this page. Now if we want to create a new page, we can come up to this icon and click on that. And you'll notice that we're given a blank canvas with the same background color and page properties as the last page that we were working on. Now if you have your favorite set of colors and properties for a page, you can define them under the Pages drop-down menu. And then when you create a new page, you can apply your page default properties. You see the default properties specified here give us a different background color. Now, if I want to add a background image to my page, I can simply select it from the properties for the page or the page background. I select an image. Then this image will be behind any controls that we place. So if I click on this control, obviously you'll see that our page image is behind our control. Now to save a page, we can simply come up and click on the save icon, or we can click on file and save. Now I will call this page test1, and if we go back to our pages tab, you can see that test1 is now saved under a user directory that is the same username as the name that we logged into the system with. So I logged in as a user with a name of admin, so any pages I save will be stored under the user admin directory. Now if I come back to this control and double click it, that will bring up the properties for the control and I can bind that to one of the data points that is in the data hub and you'll see that we now are displaying live data from um, our control system. To view this page in run mode, we simply click on the green arrow. Now to exit run mode, we click on the red X, and that will put us back into edit mode. One of the other things we can do under the page menu we can define how we see the page in run mode. If we click on use kiosk mode and then come back and click on 
the green arrow. You'll notice that we are now in a secure view of our page without any of the options to flip back into edit mode. Now in this mode um, you can still get back to edit mode if you have the right privileges you can use the keyboard shortcut which is control shift and R. So that gives you a little rundown on using the editing interface in Data Hub WebView. For more information on what you've seen here, please refer to the Data Hub WebView online documentation.